Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to activate real-time futures data in your TrendSpider account. So the first thing you're going to see on my screen here is just TrendSpider open. I've got Bitcoin up, and I'm going to browse to a futures contract. I'm going to browse to the E-mini futures contract here by typing ES1 exclamation point. This will open the screen up, but because I'm not entitled for the data yet, I have to fill out the survey before I can access it. So I'm going to click here to review and accept the exchange agreement. I'm going to leave all of this on the defaults and I'm going to click proceed here. And then it's going to ask me to fill out some information about myself. So I'm going to type Dan Ushman. I'm just doing this as an example. So I'm going to use made up information. I'm in the state of Illinois. I'm going to select a Chicago zip code. One, two, three, example street, Chicago. And I'm going to click confirm. And then I'm going to click submit. That's it. If I'm a non-pro, that's all I need to do to add futures to my account. And you can see that the chart pulls right up for the e-mini futures contract. Now, keep in mind, uh, if I'm on a test account here, so it's not going to charge me the exchange fee. But since you're most likely on a real account, you're going to be charged a $7.50 exchange fee per month to access the real-time futures data. The great thing about it is if you happen to have a discount code or a coupon code that applies to your overall TrendSpider account, that will also apply to futures. So if you have half off, you're going to pay you know, somewhere around three and a quarter dollars for access to the data. In any case, that's how it works. It's very, very simple. If you have any questions, we have a great support team that's here to help you. Just reach out to them. Their email is hello at trendspider.com, or you can click on contact us at the bottom here, and that will open the support chat where you can chat directly with the team right there. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys uh, really like having real-time futures data. I certainly do. Um, and that's it. Have a great day.